Logan Paul beat Ricochet. Thought it was a really fun opener. Good stuff. The story was they were trying to create the most viral match ever. And then this dastardly Logan Paul resorted to cheating. He hit him with knucks. And he got the big win. Good match. Good opener. Cody Rhodes, Brock Lesnar. Best match on the show. They played each other's rules great. Brock was just the best Brock in years. The unstoppable, destructive, violent creature of death. Cody Rhodes, the man who would not quit. And finally, he was able to come back at the end, hit the crossroads three times, get the pin. Brock Lesnar took off his gloves afterwards. He hugged Cody. He raised his hand in victory. He walked to the back. According to uh, Triple H after the show, that was not scheduled to be part of the show. It was something Brock decided to do. Whether you believe that or not is up to you. But Brock Lesnar is not retiring. He is scheduled for the Fast Lane show. But uh, Cody now... They claimed he's, he's, what did they say? Something like uh, he's made it or he finally made it to the top or something like that. They said something like that. Even though he headlined WrestleMania against Roman Reigns a couple of months ago. L.A. Knight won the 25-man Slim Jim SummerSlam Battle Royal. So, uh, you know, we were talking about this the other day, the booking of, of uh, WWE. L.A. Knight beat Sheamus on SmackDown. People were like, oh, well, he can't possibly win the Battle Royal now. Well, you know, as we mentioned, Dave did the math once, and it's really not 98% of the time. It's like 60% of the time. And he won on SmackDown, and he won the Battle Royal. So L.A. Knight maybe will go on to beat Austin Theory. I guess we'll see what they end up doing. Could be uh, Santos Escobar. They uh, built that up in the Battle Royal, but everybody loved it. It was a nothing happened in Battle Royal, but it got a big pop. Shayna Baszler, Ronda Rousey, MMA rules match. I thought they worked really hard. I felt bad for both of them. The match, I can't say the match sucked, but the match had a massive problem. And that was you got to either do a WWE style match for the WWE fans, or you got to do an actual legitimate MMA rules match for the people that care about MMA. Instead, they did neither. They did a lame, oh, pin. You, you can't win via pinfall. It's only knockout or submission. But, you know, if someone gets kicked, we're going to stop the match, and we're going to have doctors go in the ring and ask, and I quote, are you okay? Are you hurt? So the crowd, everyone in the crowd hated it. Wrestling fans hated it. MMA fans hated it. Everybody hated it. Shayna choked her out. Ronda Rousey is done. Rode off into the sunset. That was probably her last WWE match ever. Gunther beat Drew. Very good match, but they only got about 12 minutes. And right when they got the crowd, that was when it was time to go home. So it was it was a really good match. Gunther looked great. Drew looked great. They, they finally got the fans at the end, and then Gunther hit a bunch of moves, powerbombed him, pinned him, retained the title. Next up, Honky Tonk Man's record. Seth Rollins beat Finn. Of course, everyone knows what I thought should happen. It didn't. But you know what? If Seth is going to win, they actually had a great finish, which is this idiot Finn is so blinded by his hatred and fury of Seth Rollins, he can't see what's right in front of his face, which was Damian Priest trying to help him. But he's so angry, all he can see is the briefcase. He thinks the guy's trying to cash in. So he ignores him. He tries to win. But Seth kicks out of the uh, the coup de gras. Now he wants Priest to help. Priest is like, you idiot. Fine, here's a briefcase. I'll go take the ref. Finn is just frantic to get the briefcase. He gets stomped into the briefcase. He gets pinned. He still doesn't have his title. Priest still has the briefcase. Well, now he's even more furious. And a, an explosion is coming. Bianca, Oscar, and Charlotte, women's title match. They went about uh, 25 minutes. I thought about uh, 20 minutes of it was just, I didn't like it. Three-way, 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 three-way spot, three-way spot. Not even any psychology. It's just like, we're going to do a three-way spot here, three-way spot there, three-way spot. Finally, thank God, Bianca sold a knee injury. They got her out of the match. Fans got into the one-and-one one part of the match because it was like an actual match. Then Bianca comes back. Asuka... 
sprays the mist into Charlotte's eyes as Charlotte has Bianca in the figure eight because her knee is hurt. Asuka goes over to grab Bianca. Bianca cradles her and pins her, wins the title. But Bianca's hurt. So out comes Io, Bailey. They lay waste everybody with the briefcase. Io Shirai lays out Bianca's knee. She knocks the knee out of her knee. Moonsault, one, two, three. She is the new women's champion. And uh, whatever you think about the match, and I didn't think much about it, the last couple of minutes were great. The cash-in, the place went nuts. They were so happy to see the cash-in. EO's the new champion. And, man, she's got a lot of challengers based on the way they booked the match. And then, my God, Roman Reigns and Jey Uso. 35 excruciating minutes on a show that went four hours and 15 minutes. Don't forget the nobody, 20 minute intro. Nobody on the face of the earth thought that Jey Uso could win. Even though they gave him that pin over Roman Reigns, even though they built him up big, nobody thought the guy could win. And unlike with Sami Zayn, unlike with Cody, unlike the tag match, nobody thought the guy could win, and so you can't do 20 minutes of excruciating heat on the guy. Michael Cole's like, Jay needs to do something. He ain't doing nothing out there. Well, that works if fans think he might win in the end. Well, they didn't think that. Crowd's dead. Finally, Solo comes out. And then they really don't think the guy can win. He makes a brief comeback. And then, like, he hits the big splash, which is, like, his big move. But they did that earlier, and Roman kicked out. So I guess the second time we're supposed to believe maybe he'll beat him. But a man pulls Jay out of the ring. It is Jimmy. Jimmy turns on Jay. Roman spears him through a table and pins him. I thought it was a swing and a miss, and that was the end of the show. You know, I don't want to go. I know it's Mike's turn, but listen. Good. God. Good. Yes. Stop, everybody. Dude, this is this goes for AEW at All In. It goes for WWE at WrestleMania. It goes for New Japan at the Tokyo Dome. Stop doing four-hour and 15-minute shows, okay? Sometimes... Sometimes it works. Eight times out of ten, it's too long. They were doing a great job lately. WWE, three and a half hours, no more. Well, it's SummerSlam. It's a big four. Man, we got to put in some time. Four hours and 15 minutes almost killed me. It was way too long. It didn't need to be that long. Like, sometimes, maybe you could pull it off at Wembley. Maybe. But to me... Play it safe. No one's going to... I've never... Correct me if I'm wrong. No. I've never heard somebody say, I can't believe I saw this awesome whatever the show was, but it was only three and a half hours. Nobody's ever said that ever. Ever. In history. Never. So please stop. God, this thing just went on and on. And it was like... You know, I don't want to spoil my whole Sports Illustrated column, but this was exactly like an old WCW pay-per-view where they had a hot undercard. They had Guerreros and Malenkos and and Benoits and, and Eddies and Rays and everybody, and you're just, like, loving the show. And then they trot out these two ancient guys for the main event, and they go and excruciate. And by the time the show's over, you're like, God, that show sucked. But it didn't. But you can think I, it sucked because it just worse? went forever. Make me feel worse. I'll make you feel worse as we go to break here. The amount of actual wrestling on this show in that four and a half hours, an hour and a half. Yeah, time. I think it was actually it. longer than that. And I'll Not tell you much. why you know after the break. I'm calling it down Granny's memory lane. Are you oh. reading from your memoirs? Yes. No, no, okay. no. That's past. Oh, okay. This yeah, is new stuff. This is more up to date, you know. I'm I more... see. Okay, this is the more recent stuff. Yeah, new old stuff. I just no, said. no, okay. no, no. <laughs> the New Testament. Everyone, let her go. We lived on a farm ten miles east of Baker. <laughs> more and... recent, you say? <laughs> I was going to say this is a new. No, this is old. It's old. Okay. Okay. Who said new? I didn't say new. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we're just going to be quiet. And you, am I out of my you, mind? No, yes, we're all out of our minds. <laughs> now I'm upset. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> I'll, I, I'm finding Vinny. Vinny, you're being fined $100. Oh. It was Martell's and Heaps. 
Heaps? Was Martell. <laughs> the Heaps. The Heaps. And the Heaps only had one daughter named Alice. Yeah. What's so funny about the name? The Heaps? The daughter Alice, uh, she knew how to yodel, and she was what, what she'd call nowadays a rebel. The yodeling rebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Granny, if I may interrupt, what did they call her back then? Alice. Okay. <laughs> you thought I wasn't going to like this segment, Granny? This is the best segment we've had on the show in years. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.